Hi, so it's been a while since I posted anything on YouTube. I've been doing a lot of TikToks lately, especially for the month of October. We are now in November, so I wanted to get my cut up on um, my crazy October. Uh, so, I guess in September or August, at one of my catheter change appointments, the nurse suggested that I have uh, another... Uh, cystoscopy done of my bladder. I hadn't had one done in a couple of years. I think it was 2019. So we're in 2021 now. We're almost into 2022. So, <laughs> so they had me scheduled for doing it in the office, which meant with no anesthesia. And I don't know if oh, the amount of scammers I'm calling me on the daily is ridiculous. At least eight calls a day. At least. <laughs> They wanted me to do it in the office, which meant no anesthesia. And if you had seen my um, video about those procedures, there was, they did one and then they did another one where they biopsied my bladder. And neither time was I under anesthesia. And neither time did the um, bladder numbing medication do any good whatsoever. I don't know why he thought doing it without anesthesia this time would be a good idea. And they tried to placate me and they gave, they sent me an, a pill of diazepam to take. It is so windy right now. <laughs> I thought about it for a week after that. And I uh, couldn't do it. I did not want to go through that again. So I called them back and insisted that it be rescheduled for a, a procedure under anesthesia. They were like, okay, well, that might not be until uh, summer. And it was September when this call was made. So <laughs> it wouldn't have been until the next summer came around. And I was like, well, okay, I'm okay with that because I am, I'm not going through that without anesthesia again. That was dramatic. I did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> so they were like, okay. And not that long after that, maybe a couple of weeks, I don't think we were even out of September yet, they called me again and were like, guess what? We got you scheduled for the end of October. Uh, it was the 27th was my appointment. So after that, so many appointments opened up. I had an appointment on October 4th uh, with my regular doctor. I had already scheduled that because I had been having pain and tingling in my hands. And I thought it was my arthritis getting worse. But she suggested that it might be carpal tunnel. And I need to schedule that. She wanted me to see a different doctor to be sure. MG? You know what it is? An EMG? I'm going to look it up. Wait, uh, so I have to call them back at some point. So I had that appointment on the 4th, and then I was supposed to have a wound care appointment on the 6th. They called me up the morning of, and were like, my ride was supposed to be like 15 minutes away. And they were like, uh, we don't have any electricity. <laughs> so we need to reschedule. So they rescheduled, I think, for the next week. I had wound care. And I had a COVID test. I think I had something else. Think of what it is. I don't think it was a catheter change. <laughs> Anesthesia consult. That was the other thing I had. And I had three of those things one week, one day after the other. It was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I believe. And then I had I had two free weeks out of the entire month of October. Like the week before those three appointments and then the week after. And then the week after that was my procedure. Then I was supposed to have a catheter change on the 3rd, but since they ca they changed it, I was coming out of anesthesia. That has decided to join me. But they were changing it as I was coming out of anesthesia, so it didn't hurt, but I could feel it. Weird. Yeah, my October has been just crazy. We had two different trick-or-treat nights. We camped one weekend, and they had trick-or-treat at the campground. <sighs> the day, two days after my procedure, I can't remember. Yeah, the 29th. They had trick or treat here where I live. I uh, passed out candy twice, dressed as um, Mother Goose or Lucy Goosey. Land of Stories book series by Chris Colfer. I highly recommend. It does not matter what age you are. It's very good to read. I have another one. I'm still. I haven't read yet. I don't know if it's a continuation or if it's like a one off series because he has a couple of those. They're like two or three books, and they're about different character or whatever. Well, then there's a couple of just one book about characters and their adventures that I haven't read yet, but I have purchased them. They're really good reads. Go, go look them up. They're I have them on Audible, so I, I've been listening to them on audiobook. So I'm still on moon care. <laughs> so every time I go, they 
discover something else. Like he says, I'm having like friction sores, not bed, not bed sores or pressure sores. They're friction sores from how I get up. Um, so I've been trying not to like. I'm trying to like lift when I go to get up instead of just like I don't know sliding. <laughs> Different seats. It's easier to do that. Other seats. It's not so easy to do that. So, but I've been trying. Uh, <laughs> So he actually suggested in my last appointment, which was yesterday, that I try some kind of shorts, which I usually do wear shorts under certain things like my dresses. That way I have somewhere to hook a drainage bag to. I have this, I hook it to like the hem of my skirt if I'm wearing a skirt. I have a ring light. I don't know if $30 is cheap for a ring light, but that's how much it was. I had a gift card, for a case study that I did, purchased it, and the main part of it, the ring part of it, does not want to stay forward. Like, it's on, like, a ball, and it wants to lean forward. I think my phone is making it a bit top-heavy. See, now you can't... I'm all, like, in shadow. Curious. I have two appointments coming up this week. Another wound care. There was one on my left side, and uh, one healed up. It was very small. They kept saying it was very small, and it took minimal amount of care to get rid of it. I just didn't have the proper the proper materials, but I didn't know if those would help. So I went there. I thought it was a lot bigger, to be honest. And I think my phone is the the, the ring light is sliding again. I'm pretty sure. I can't tell. <laughs> If it smacks me in the face, that's, that means it's moving. Okay, let's fix it again. Oh, I'm in shadow. I don't want to be in shadow. I love this ring light, though, but because, like, there's two settings that are, like, great for getting rid of my ex. Shadow. The shadow's under my eyes. See? Shadow. No shadow. Shadow. No shadow. <laughs> you just hold on. So, yeah, I stay in the position I put it in. I got it fixed, though. I think I adjusted it properly. So yeah, that's been my October. And now we're into November. And I have two appointments. I have another wound care appointment for the right side. They were like, well, your left side's healed up. But I see another one on the right side. So they're... <sighs> but they said it was small too. Uh, so I think it's just the beginning of it. So that's good. It won't take very long to heal it. But he's trying to suggest like bikes. Like padded bike shorts he thought that might be difficult with my tube and my tens that i wear but i'm going to look at some stuff and see what i can find so i just wanted to jump in here and mention that i did look some stuff up and they look ridiculous i'll put them up on the screen now um yeah i'm not putting that on my body <laughs> too ridiculous. Let's get some more uh, nice comfy short to wear. Sorry, I'm playing with my ring night. I'm trying to have it in the shot. <laughs> but yeah, I did look them up and they look ridiculous and I'm not buying those. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much up to date for what's going on. Anything else? The fun TikToks that I want to make, not informational ones. And it's moving again. Hold on. So if I'm like sitting at a different angle, <laughs> different points during this video, that's why a stupid ring light not want to cooperate. Sorry, that was probably gross for some people. I apologize. So yeah. Some other stuff I wanted to do. I wanted to make some fun TikToks. I have to take out the trash. There's a couple of dishes left to wash. My older niece will be home soon, which is fine. Um she's able to just like chill at the front of the house by herself <laughs> when we're home together excuse me <laughs> i just had lunch i got up made sure my niece my older niece was out the door with all of her things my nephew was already up because my sister is so loud in the morning it's ridiculous now other mornings she's better at it than some some mornings <laughs> Twice now in the past couple of weeks, she has woken up my nephew. And I get up at 5.25 in the morning. She gets up a little before that. Then I, I don't wake him up until 7.10. He doesn't need to be. Because uh, usually he's like 15 minutes and the bus gets here at 8.15. So he's able to just like sit and eat his Pop-Tart and watch TV. <sighs> I don't 
think I gave Ms. Claritin today, though. I'm pretty sure I did not. Hopefully he didn't have any too many issues with allergies today. And he's got surgery. She had to, like, she has braces. And she had to, like, get a skin graft of the part of her mouth. Where else? Like, vague on the details. <laughs> the days. She wasn't allowed to eat certain things. She's already restricted on what she's allowed to eat. Then she got restricted even more. Apparently, they had a lot of issues getting her asleep for the procedure. Um, she had to take a pill. She's home. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> like, I'm hearing voices. <laughs> she she's home. She didn't take it. They handle the anesthesia very well. Like she was very emotional coming out, which I used to be, to be, um, when I was younger. Whenever I'd have a procedure, <laughs> I'd come out of anesthesia crying <laughs> for no no reason, just just crying. <laughs> I think she she might be back on normal food. No, I'm not sure. She is. <laughs> with that, and I'm realizing that my doctor never did come back after my procedure and tell me anything <laughs> and i even went to my my chart app and there was no notes that i that i noticed i want to do with the printout yeah at my appointment next week <laughs> yeah he just never came out and said hey you're fine or you're not fine or whatever i'm taking the mean that i am fine that he didn't tell me anything because he came in before he even asked me if I wanted to talk to my mom afterwards. And I don't think he did talk to her either. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's all I have to say for now. Just wanted to catch everybody up. Okay, bye.